milk 1,800 cows. This barn holds uh, about 1,200 cows. We were at a point in time where there was a lot of reasons to build the barn, but our biggest one was our growth. We would come to a point where we would overstock the farm and, and we wanted to keep growing, so yeah, the barn was a nice fit. We were doing about 1.8, 1.9 milk solids before the barn in our, in our dry lot sort of hybrid grazing system and now we're doing two, nearly 2.4 so yeah we're quite happy but we're also eager to keep pushing further on than that too. A big driver for which type of barn we were wanting to choose was as, as hot as it is in our climate it also gets very wet. In the last two days we've had 60 mil of rain and we really wanted a system that was no different for the cows or the people in wet weather particularly or, and hot weather and so the, the staff and the cows in the last two days, their jobs haven't changed, they don't really know it's rained. For our business, it just means people's days are a lot more uh, repetitive and organised and the same each week and, and, and there's still different, lots of different tasks but it's quite easy to train people to get them used to the system whereas before we're chopping and changing all the time, grazing, not grazing, doing this and doing that, now we're just same every day, every week, every month the same. Our cell count has lowered, our mastitis rate is lower, our pregnancy rate, so how many cows we get in calf, is improved. Particularly in the hot weather, we used to see it really drop off and now we don't. I suppose the measure of a healthy cow being the output, and the output's higher, and yeah, they're really content and happy. And with all these health factors improving, it just means your business doesn't hit too many roadblocks or too many points where where our growth gets pulled back, it's on sort of a, a better trajectory in the future. Next for Calmo Farms is what well, we love, we're very close to, to building a second barn, which would be very, very similar to this one. Yeah, it was always envisaged, the next two steps being a new barn and then a new milking facility. So we'll see how quickly we can move into those two. Some of my jobs in the shed are to push all the feed up so the cows can eat and to take the cows out into the dairy. When I'm in the shed, I notice that all the cows are a lot happier, healthier, because they're out of the dust, flies and mud. I'm excited about the future of dairy because I can't wait to see all the new tech that'll come in and just help make the job a lot easier.